Most people that get in this business won't do that. The exact thing that this business is built on. And it will expose the hell out of you and chew you up, spit you out. And I really don't wish it on many people, to be honest. It's like being an entrepreneur and trying to build businesses. You know, you are a mini business. You know, it's not to the degree of putting up hundreds of thousands of dollars to start a restaurant, but but it's you know, you're you're taking some risk here. If you would have told me when I was a teenager that I was going to make millions of dollars just talking to people on a phone in an air-conditioned office, um, just seeing how they're doing today and seeing what I can do to help them, I would have slapped you so hard and told you that you are the funniest guy on earth. It, 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 the opportunity that you have right in front of you to, to be a, just a communicator, and that's what you do for a living, and you have the opportunity to make millions of dollars just communicating to people in the market to see what you can do to help and to use your services to help them and their family and everyone they know and help them multiple times in your career. And that doesn't motivate you when, when last week we're mopping floors or flipping burgers or, or roofing houses, and this doesn't motivate you then I have a problem right now, right? That that's And you, you're not going to prevent the winners from winning. It doesn't matter what the scenario is, the winners are gonna go win. And the losers are gonna go lose. The losers are gonna say this year, inventory too low. The losers are gonna say next year, inventory too high. The losers are gonna find an excuse in the market to, to lean on and to use as a scapegoat when they're not producing at the level that they don't even want to produce at any kind of level. They're just like there. But the winners, they ain't gonna say nothing. They're just gonna go win. They're self-motivated people. So I would say, you know, if people need motivation, they're probably not, <laughs> they're probably not team material, you know. But I understand, I've got, I've got a growing organization of almost 900 agents, and I'm for so long I've dealt with the same dilemma in, in, in terms of, okay, I can't get to all 900 of them. How, like, there's people in that organization that need me and need my attention and need my expertise and need consult, consultation and, and all this stuff. Um, and so now what, right? And so you have more of a, a smaller team, local team kind of atmosphere, but you're going through the same stuff. You're kind of like, where do I draw the line in the sand between, um, you know, training them, motivating them behind things that, and it comes back to what I just said. The winners are gonna go win. Whether I, like in 2015, I hired a coach. Right, I wanted to make a million, I wasn't gonna make a million, I was really depressed kind of deal, and I was like, coach, here's a ton of money, tell me how to do it. And that same coach, um, I was talking to him the other day, we're still incredible friends, and uh, I, only had him, I only paid him for four months and really hadn't talked to him since, and then about a year or so ago, you know, we, we rekindled and, and now have a great relationship, and this guy's a big name in the industry. and. He said, you know, we were talking about this same dilemma. And he said, Ricky, if you would have hired me as a coach, if you wouldn't have hired me, would you have succeeded? And I said, yes, massively. Nothing would have changed about anything in my business. Everything, I would have went on the same trajectory and everything would be exactly the same whether I hired you or not. He said, there you go, right there. You're gonna win and winners are gonna win no matter what. You know, and the losers, you know, they're going to find excuses and they're going to pick you apart. They're going to drain you of all your energy. And at the end of the day, you know, what do you have? And so there's this, there's this dilemma where it's like, okay, how much time do you put into your team and the agents and the training, you know, versus letting those winners go win and letting the losers weed their self out. And I hate to say it like that, but it's just reality, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you, this game.
This game uh, makes no excuses, so I, I hear you. And thank you for the honesty. It, it will, it will, it will chew you up, spit you out, and it will expose you. It will expose you, right? Um, you know, like I said, you, this business, the premise is to talk to people you don't know to help them buy or sell real estate, right? <laughs> and, and most people that get in this business won't do that. The exact thing that this business is built on. And <laughs> it will expose the hell out of you and chew you up, spit you out. And I really don't wish it on many people, to be honest. It's like being an entrepreneur and trying to build businesses. You know, you are a mini business. You know, it's not to the degree of putting up hundreds of thousands of dollars to start a restaurant, but but it's you know you're you're taking some risk here, and most businesses don't make any money for a couple years. People are walking away from real estate after they don't sell anything in six months. When they got in the bit, when they originally decided to to choose this career, that they were going to be a 30-year agent. No, it's nuts. I just want you guys to take my content, my story, connect the dots and how you can use it to sidestep the mistakes I made to where you can build a more solid business faster, right, and bigger, right? So there's no shortcuts.